welcome back to my channel, Lose Weight Sarah, where I'm on a mission to lose 100 pounds my way. So today I'm coming to you with something a little bit different. So I normally do a midweek check-in and kind of let you guys know how everything's going and maybe give some helpful tips and advice. Well, today I was really inspired by another YouTuber that I watch. Her name is Celeste Renee. I'll actually link to her channel down in the comments, but she really inspired me. She's been taking her measurements as part of her own weight loss challenge, which I thought was a really great idea. And I should probably try that too, especially since I had kind of a discouraging weigh in last week, even though I still lost 0.2 pounds. I felt that it should have gone better than that. So I think for me, taking my measurements would probably be a good way to have like a backup way to track progress. So I'll probably do this every week. So let's dive in to taking measurements for weight loss. So I have had one of these body tape measures forever and I find it really, really handy. It actually will loop into this little slot here. Of course, if I do it right, there we go. And then you can retract it to take your measurements more accurately. So you're not having to hold the tape on two sides. You can just make a loop and then stick your arm in and take the measurement. So we'll do that today. Now something really fun that I wanted to do just to show appreciation. My channel has grown so much in such a short amount of time. I've only been YouTubing consistently for about three weeks and I have almost 40 subscribers, which I'm so appreciative of. And I really thank you if you have subscribed to my channel. If you haven't yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button now. You're gonna wanna do that because at the end of this video, I have a little giveaway for you guys. So before I got started, I did a little bit of research online and tried to figure out what really is the best way to take your measurements. So a few things that came up that I saw consistently through the articles that I was reading. One was take your measurements first thing in the morning, just like you should do with your weight. It's best to do them with no clothes clothing on if you can do that. I'm not going to do that on this video. I promise I'm not going to subject anybody to that. But if you can and you're brave enough to do that, then by all means, you do you. No shame in that. Everybody's got a different level of confidence, right? Mine is just not that high. What I'm going to do is kind of like the second best thing. And I've got a shirt that is comically small on me on. I bought a 3X and apparently it was a Junior's 3X. Oops, clearly not a Junior's 3X yet. We can maybe use the shirt as another method of weight loss measurement, right? Anyway, and then the other thing that I kept reading was you don't have to measure both sides of your body if you don't want to. So what I mean by that, we're gonna do hips, waist, and then I'm gonna be doing my left arm, my left thigh, and my neck. So what I'll do is I'll show you how I'm gonna do each of these measurements. Now, I definitely encourage you to do your homework, you know, read a couple of articles and figure out the method that's gonna work best for you because what works best for me is, is not necessarily gonna be the same thing as what works best for you. I'll also post my final measurements down in the description. So you can read them there. Don't feel like you have to pause the video, but I'll put graphically what the measurement was on the video too. So all that being said, why don't we go ahead and get started and we'll take my measurements.
so that wasn't so bad. I mean, it was kind of along what I expected. And again, I'll post those initial measurements down in the description below. Now, as I mentioned, I want to give away a few of these. I actually have four of them coming in the mail any day now, and I am going to give them to you, my subscribers. So if you want to enter the giveaway, all you have to do is like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and leave a comment down below saying one of your recent victories. And that can be a scale victory, a non-scale victory, anything that feels like a win to you. Tell me how you're winning your weight loss journey. One other thing I wanted to share with you guys this week, I tried something that was so out of my comfort zone. And we know that a weight loss journey, like 95% of it is just being uncomfortable. Uncomfortable workout clothes, uncomfortable starting to walk, right? It's, it's just not easy to get started. Something that I used to do, I'm gonna say the last time I did it was back in 2017, was I used to actually be able to jog. Well, yesterday during my walk, I came across kind of a straight path that leads up to one of the schools in my neighborhood. And I said, you know what, screw it. I'm gonna try and run this little straightaway here. I didn't make it the whole way, but I still did it. And I was really proud of myself for that. So I wanted to leave you with that. Again, I hope you'll like and subscribe. For that giveaway, I will actually do the drawing this Sunday night. So make sure that you get all your comments in so that you can enter. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And if you wanna get notifications of when I post new videos, be sure to click that little bell. That's how you'll get that alert. But you know how YouTube works. I don't have to tell you, just do it. Friday is weigh-in day. You don't wanna miss that. That's why those notifications are really important. So you can get all my latest weigh-ins and see how I'm doing on my journey. I'm super excited for weigh-in day this week. I think it's gonna be a good one. I think my goal is for one whole pound. One pound, just one stinking pound. That's all I need. Till next time, I'll see you guys real soon. Thank you.